they had a very formidable foe. You know, it was like the Muhammad Ali Joe Frazier fight. We had him on the ropes for three quarters of the game, but again, uh, sometimes your great players can will you to win. And just like in game two, where Angel came and, and brought it to us to help us get this, Della Don came and brought it to them. So, uh, congratulations to them. But uh, it was a game that um, we had control of. And, Again, champions have to learn how to win, not just on the road, but you got to learn how to win on the road. I mean, at home. Um, coach, at the end of the second half in uh, game one, there was a sort of a similar kind of collapse. Um, you talked about the dream sort of losing intensity. Do you think that happened in the fourth quarter? Um, not so much intensity, but I think we got away from what we were doing well. I thought our... Uh, execution of our offense kind of went out the window a little bit. We took some quick shots and some bad shots. Um, and then our defense, when that happens to us, it kind of rolls over into the other area. Our defense kind of got away from us. But again, you still have to give a lot of credit to Chicago because they did what they had to do to stay in this game. And they kept it not necessarily close, but we were trying on the verge of blowing it out. But when they got it close, they kept it close. Good effort tonight. Coach Don Stenson with DNA Sports Talk. Do you think it's a different mentality of, of being the hunted as opposed to hunting? I think so. I have to say that because the success that this organization has had over the last three or four years, uh, we tried to, as a coaching staff, to let the players know that, but I think they did. They didn't really know the extent of it. And again, it's not that people aren't looking at us. They're looking at the Atlanta Dream because they are a contending team to win a championship. And that's what we were getting all year long, starting from game one. We are getting every, every team's best punch. Again, we call it again tonight. Um, Coach, um, you made a comparison with um, boxing. Is there any game in your NBA career that you can compare this to as far as having such a big lead and then at the end falling apart, basically? Is there any game that you can personally that you had personally that there you There were many play. games we had. There was games against the Celtics in the playoffs. Uh, but again, uh, a, lot, a lot of that has to go to Chicago. They could have just wilted and went away, but they didn't. And again, the fight that they had, we didn't come and bring our fight at the time that we needed to. But again, I'll say this again. It was our execution down the stretch. Seven minutes to go in the fourth quarter. We stopped executing and started taking quick shots. And when you do that, you shoot yourself in the foot, and that's what we did. Coach Cooper, uh, Jackson Miller, Real Sports Talk Radio. Uh, do you think the team at some point, I know you said they didn't execute, but do you think they kind of started to play uh, not to lose instead of to win? I'll let Sam try to I think we were playing to win the game, um, but after we, for me, after we saw that they were coming back, I think our mentality were we needed to score, we needed to put the ball in the basket, and we stopped executing. Stop doing the things that made us go up by 20 points, and all of a sudden it was a one point lead, and we were looking up like, How did this happen? But if you go back to the tape, we made it happen. Um, I have a question for you. Um, as far as I thought, um, when you were in the game, um, Tamara Little was defending you. I'm sorry, Tamara Young was. Um, defending you, and when Angel was in, she was defending her. Do you think that that was a, a positive or negative thing in you, your offensive output tonight? Um, I think when I was in the game, Deladon was defending me. At one point, I did see um, Young on you. That's when she switched to the four. Um, we tried to um, exploit that, and I think I missed one day, I'm gonna hit another shot, but when we see those kind of things, we gotta take advantage of it. And some, I think, sometimes during the course of the fourth quarter, they didn't. We we didn't, and um, we try to take outside shots instead of going in. He was making her shots, and we stopped passing to her, and, and it was just a dog fight after that. And when your biggest player not scoring, sometimes they lose their confidence all around. So I think that's what happened to us. We just stepped back too far, and they kept punching. 
Terry French, Charles Sports, WATV 1420. Talk about the play of uh, Elaine Deladon. Uh, Coach Chapman just said that uh, when the game was on the line, she put the ball in the best player's hand. Talk about her play uh, towards the end of the game. Well, she did the same thing she did in game two, but we were able to nullify that. But again, I think she was just a little bit more determined. What she did in game two, she tried to shoot jumpers. And in this game here, she was taking the ball to the basket. And I don't think we adjusted well. Angel played her terrifically uh, all both games. She just so happened she got away from us to hit those last two baskets. Because again, one player is not going to necessarily win the whole thing for you. Because we, she could have got 34 we won the game. We would have been just as happy with that. But it was those two, four points down the stretch to pull them close and then give them the lead that really hurt. How you doing, Coach? This is Amir Shaw from Rolling Out Magazine. Um, the, one of the final plays, uh, Shoni uh, Schimmel was able to get in the game. She hit a big shot. Uh, you took her out. Was it um, to, I guess, were you playing for defense versus offense? How, I exactly. Guess. And I think the one thing that Shoni has to uh, get better at in her area as far as growing as a professional player is her defense. Because, again, you saw in the first half, they were isolating her. Faulkner actually went by her for a layup. So, but you know what, that comes with uh, learning and understanding the pro game. And she'll get better with that. I think our defense could have did a better job of helping her. But again, when you're playing that offense, defense, tag team type of uh, situation. Coach, uh, this question, probably difficult to answer, but I'm not, I know you don't look for any excuses, but like you said, everyone looks at the Atlanta Dream like a contender. Um, the last three out of four years and made it to the finals. Do you think their run just might have ran out? No. 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 We'll come back bigger and stronger and better next year. And our goal still is to win a championship, and we will get that championship. Um, I think, again, this was a big adjustment for this team. New coaching staff coming in here after the sex they had. And um, they were getting to understand me and my philosophies. I'm getting to understand them. I know that I went out on the branch and said I guarantee it, but I, that's how much I believe in this team. And I'll make that guarantee again next year because that's how much I believe. And I pretty much it will stand next year because we will go a lot further because we understand what it takes to get over that first hurdle. Uh, your hurdles start during this regular season, and for us to go 15-5 and five and then, what, 4-13 and 13 or 15, whatever we win, that's not championship basketball. That's limping into the playoffs, and I thought we limped into the playoffs. Um, I want to ask a question, um, basically building on what Chastity said and to what you said. Um, having won so many Eastern Conference Finals and going into this year, do you think that maybe this is a little more humbling now to, the, to your players and you, Sancho, and to bring it back to how you actually have to earn to get in I mean, we all know you have to earn to get in, but is it a little more humbling now that you lost in the first round? Uh, we lost in the first round two years ago against uh, Indiana. Uh, I think with this one, it's done more because the way the game ended. If we had ended this this game not in this fashion, I think it wouldn't have stung this much. But uh, being up so so many points and then see it dwindle and, and end up losing by one point, I think this is the biggest disappointment that we will have. Um, but in order to say we are disappointed in the season or stuff like that, I won't think so. Uh, we we started out great, we had a stumble and we finished this way. The the core of the team probably still going to be the same for next year. We will understand more of the coaches, we will understand more of the players and the plays. And now that we know the philosophy of the team, next year will be a whole totally different bargain. Coach, um, I know this is this um, you have time. You're gonna have to have time to think about what you want to do next year. But um, if you could think about right now, uh, what's the biggest thing that you want this team to uh, focus on before next season starts? I would say stay focused. That's the biggest thing for us. We we. We always start the game knowing our game plans and we end the game not knowing our game plans. And I think that is our biggest challenge right now. And hopefully next year we, we change that as a, as a group, not as individuals. Because if one individual is not understanding what we're doing, it affects everybody. And we can't have that happening for next year. Coach, what did you say to your team in the locker room? I mean, I know players had to be pretty distraught, and I know Jasmine Thomas 
missed two big free throws, and obviously Angel had a shot rim out that kind of hung on the rim forever. So, what did you say kind of in the locker room? Was there, was there anything to say? Just talked about some of the deficiencies that we had through the course of the game, especially in that fourth quarter in the last seven minutes. But again, this team, like I said, has been through a lot of adverse changes and stuff. Uh, I think with my illness kind of affected us a little bit. But again, we're not going to cry over spilled milk because Chicago was, like I said, a very worthy opponent. Uh, so there wasn't anything to say. Just get us prepared for next year. Talk about uh, what the things that they have to do in, in the next couple of days. Uh, hopefully everybody can get some rest, come back healthy, and we'll start this journey again. Thank you. Thank you.